today we're at Orga Tech in Cologne, Germany. Um, it is the hot spot of design for the office furniture market. In Europe. In Europe. It's, it's an center. exhibition that's happening in October every other year, so it's only every two years. I see a globalization of office furniture trends happening. We see that many of the major furniture companies are reevaluating how people are working. And that's changing what the office place looks like today. Today, our workspace is less defined than it was in the, in the past. We are mobile people constantly on the move, and so is our workspace. So today's office is no longer a series of doors and boxes. It's an open office plan, and the cubicles are going away. So people need places of privacy. They have social interaction, they have collaboration, but then they need times to break away and have a quiet conversation on their cell phone or um, a quiet meeting with only one colleague. And so what's happened is that new types of furniture have cropped up, couches that create privacy but also sound absorption. Managing the acoustics in these bigger spaces, that's one of the major topics today so that you see a lot of textile materials that help manage the sound. Um, felt. Felt. Lots felt is a, a, a very loved material. It's a sustainable material. It's, a, it's just the perfect material to manage the acoustic um, it's soft, issues. It's soft. It brings color and you would see a lot of you know offices here that feel like home. So this is about you know a place at work, which feels like home, the, the, the two areas are, are mer merging or yeah, the bridging. blending. One of the biggest color stories that I see is the story of green. There's a lot of green. Lots of greens. We see certain types of green. There's a pistachio green, there's a very light and soft, almost a 50s feel uh, mm -hmm. green. It can have, have a bit of a minty um, a minty side to it too. So green is a big, big uh, story here. Um, blues. I think blue is a very big story too. We see denim blues. Um, we see light sky blues. Powder blues. Powder blues. Um, blue, very like you know darker blues, royal blues with a with a hint of uh, violets. Um, so blue, blue is a big story. Denim is the denim is a big story too. And it's a gradation. It's almost as if you don't see just one blue. It's not about one color in in its purity. It's mixing color tones of the same family. What's really interesting is we've seen this reaction from the high tech world to high touch, and that's where the nostalgia is coming in. We've seen the old-fashioned telephones that had been spray-painted in these bright colors as accents. The old-fashioned typewriter is being used as propping. So I think the industry is understanding that it's at a, a cusp of change. Technology is changing the furniture and how people work, but there's still that comfort in looking into the past and, and also pencil and paper. You know, sometimes people just want pencil and paper. We're seeing a lot of surfaces that are marker board surfaces where people can huddle around and actually just write again instead of type, which is interesting. Yeah. We're at the Morbica booth, booth, one of our customers, and they've developed this wonderful multifunctional tool which is using a product of ours, which is a magnetic uh, writable Magnetic marker board. board series. I'll just uh, demonstrate that. This is part of the trend where there's a reaction to high tech and people still want to use analog technology and they want to write, they want to huddle, they want to problem solve. Okay. Plus plus, which is fantastic. This is a wonderful screen because it incorporates this material, which is, I would say, more low tech, but on behind here, we have a video conferencing aesthetic, so we'll pull it around. So it's a perfect example of high tech, low tech in combination. Very flexible in its use. It's about flexible working. It's almost as if our future was um, shared with us in the 50s and 60s. So there was this vision of what the future is, 
And now it's actually happening. It's happening. Feels like that future. Think about Star Trek. You know, you had the transponders. You know that you, you know, talk to people on. That's our cell phone of today. And you'd work in your space bubble. I mean, some of these chairs don't oh, they like don't they look bubble. like 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 a space bubble? Yes, you know? exactly. We might have had a hint of the future with some of the science fiction writers, and they're actually coming to fruition, which is kind of exciting, actually.